Hey there guys, Black Panther here and welcome to Automation the Car Company Tycoon game thing. Now, this is going to be interesting. So this is a game in where you build cars. Not like Car Mechanic Simulator 2015, you actually build them from the ground up. You choose a body, you design an engine, that sort of stuff. It's... it blows my mind. Now... This is going to be rather interesting because, number one, I'm doing something different. I'm actually not going to edit this at all because it's going to be a lengthy video either way. So I might as well keep it all in. Um, and you guys are going to see how shite I am at actual cars and engines -y things. Uh, so if you do know how to play this game and you've played it yourself before, and that's my old car which I did to test, so we're going to ignore that one. Delete. Yes. Uh, you're going to see, like, if you know... And you're shouting all the time like, Theo, do this! That's why it's fucking up! You're going to be doing a lot of that in this video. Uh, so that's just a warning. Anyway. Oh, we've got a few things to choose from here. Obviously, bodies and such. Um, I'm not exactly sure what car we're going to build for this episode. Maybe we'll start off with... I don't want to start off with a sports car. I want to start off with like a muscle car. So that would be this, right? And then we've got to find the muscle car out of these. So there's like, oh, you look fancy. That is definitely very nice. I quite like that one. Uh, what else is there? That was kind of this one. I guess that's like a another old style of muscle car. Uh, this one is, that's like a CRX. So we're not going to go with that. I don't know, like, I think we're gonna go with that first one I saw, that's really the only one there at the moment. There is, like, stuff like that which could class as a muscle, but not my style, not my style. So we we'll go with you! Yes, you big meaty muscle thing. Now, um, what's next? What do we do? Quality. Just increase, I don't know what the quality, do. on half these things, like, the quality doesn't do anything. So, now, chassis type. Oh, bloody, I'll pretend I know what, what these mean. Let's go with that one. Okay, wait, 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 it says now. So basically, they're both the same. Okay. Um, carbon fiber. We could go with carbon fiber, but this this is more like um, a normal muscle car. You're not going to really get a carbon fiber muscly thing. So we will go with something that we. What I want to focus on is obviously uh, decent weight. So we don't want. Then again, it's a muscle car. So we'll go with that, and then. Uh, we want drivability on high or low. Cooling very high, very high. There's some, there's more cabin space with that. See what I mean about this video going to be long? So service costs very low. You know what? We'll just go with that one. I, d I don't I don't care. Uh, double. Um, double. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just going with basically what, the, it's not too high end or ridiculous, but things that, that would suit a muscle car to me. There's a little model in the background there. So, material cost, I want it to be about average, so that's all fine. All of those. Um, we will go with you, because why the hell not? And increase the quality. There we go. Starting to make a car. Now, this is the rising part. I'm kidding. It's just putting the lights and stuff on it. Now, lights... I like these ones, but they don't, they definitely don't fit this car, so we're not putting those ones on. I don't want to do that. I just wanted to go back on the lights. Uh, we could go with these, like two sets of them. That would be pretty cool, actually, but I believe these would be pretty cool. No, they're, they're rounded. I thought they were rounded the other side. These ones. They're not muscle car lights. Those ones? Yeah, let's try those. So if we put those in... No, I, I, I did click! There we go. No! It, that looks like real lights. That's stupid. Get them, get them off! Um... I'm not sure, actually. Those ones don't look like muscle car lights. We're gonna have to go with these, as I said. We'll put, like, two sets of them or something. So, increase them. No, don't do that. Do it like... Diagonally, because then it'll be equal. There we go. Those those look pretty good, actually. 
looks it looks it looks very special a very special muscle car can we put another set of them on because i would really like that that would be cool maybe it's like double like okay that's too big oh i'm not gonna be able to get them the bloody same size as am i it's gonna be awkward as balls come on hypes up his voice for placing lights on a muscle car yeah that's that's not too bad that's close enough right uh, tail lights will do after. Uh, so what I will do first is grills. Yes, we'll do the grills. So I think a square grill. This one, I believe, is the big gaping hole grill. Would be the best fit for this car. There we go. Increase that. Increase. No, I, I didn't. I di no! I don't want to remove my lights. What are you doing? My god. Put those back. Thank you very much. I increased that. How's that look? That's not bad, actually. I thought it was going to look worse, to be quite honest with you. So there's that, and then we need another one. So I'm going to put another one underneath. I don't know why. I think it'll look cool. I'm hoping. And then we'll increase the size, and can we move it up a little bit? Come on, just down a bit. Down. There we go. There we go. That's it. That looks pretty nice, actually. I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not unhappy with it, but I'm not amazingly happy with it. It'll do its job. Okay, real lights. What I like of these, these are like super lights. They're literally super lights, aren't they? Look at them. <laughs> so if we increase them, like, oh my god, that's terrifying. I'm not putting super lights on a muscle car. It looks weird. Tail lights again. Uh, square ones would probably fit this car more. We could go with those again. I believe they're... Put yeah, they've got different color ones. So we could go with like red and... But I'm not going to do that because I'm a lazy twat. So we'll go with you. Yes, that's much better. Yeah, that's good. So increase those a little bit. They're a bit too big. There we go. Inwards. Outwards. That'll do. No. Oh, that was a jump. Yeah. That's, that's good. Okay. That's that sorted then. So, indicators. Um, not that we'll need them. I'm kidding. We, we'll definitely need... I'll put them there. No, do they, they go there, don't they? I'm not even sure. That'll do. I don't care. You can see them. Yeah, that looks about right to me. No, they should be down... Come on, let me... Let me move you. Come on, you twat! There we go. You know what? I don't even care if it doesn't go there. It's my, it's my, the rules of Theo Town. You don't need to put stupid fucking indicators on the. Anyway, um, <laughs> they, they obviously they're very useful, and people should use them more often, especially when I'm learning to drive. They just decide to overtake me and not use them and that sort of stuff. But anyway, uh, wings, the biggest wing possible. I'm kidding. I'm not doing this. I just want to see what it looks like. I think I messed that one up. Put you on proper. There you go. Look at that. Yes. What I like about this is it's basically this. Ba this game basically has auto sculpt version ninety nine. Look at that. Look at that. You fly with that literally. Uh, but we won't have that, especially with the gaping holes at the front. I like the front of that car. It looks very nice. Very classy, but very modern at the same time. How do you do it? I don't know. Oh. Oh, this is going to be a good one. So if we go, put it right to the edge of the boot, people are going to be, it's not a boot, it's an American car, so you've got to say it's a, it's a trunk. <laughs> Your trunk then? And then, yes. Oh, I thought it was going to make it taller. Well, that's disappointing. That is a shame. I expected it to, you know, never mind, it doesn't matter. I think that'll do. Yeah. From the back, it looks stupid. Can we just extend that out on the outer edges? Yeah. You won't be able to use the trunk. Well, that doesn't matter because it looks freaking awesome. Holy shite. Okay. Um, next, we have vents. No, we, we, we missed that one, but we'll do that now. Uh, hood vents. That's what I want. So what are these like? These are just big circles. I don't want those. I want something nice and fancy. What about these? Yes, those look pretty swanky. Swanky? Is that a thing? I don't know. It is now. Yes, look at that. 
That actually looks pretty nice. I was trying to be stupid with it, but that looks that actually looks pretty damn nice. There we go. No, it's a bit too big. Make it smaller. How's that? Yeah, that's not bad. You could probably remove them if you wanted to with a custom hood, you know, that sort of stuff. But this is the production model. Um, handles. Those are useful. Just, you know, open the door. That is the tiniest handle I've seen in my life. Thank you very much. It's not that small, actually. It looks a lot smaller than it was. Okay, handles, bonnet. Bonnet? Oh, those are the bonnet thing. Oh. Oh. I knew that. So, does that just go in the middle? Okay, you know what? That's not bad, actually. So, if we make these smaller and tuck them... Can we... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea, Theo. So, we'll make those really small and we'll put them there. Because that's where they usually are on muscle cars, isn't it? Or around that area. Some cars have them there. I know some on GTA a lot. Yes, that looks cool. Okay. So then, we go for the HUD mods, and what is it? What's this? So if we put that in... Um, I expected it to be... Well, not that, but that looks pretty nice, actually. So we'll keep that. <laughs> I don't know if I like it, but it'll stay. Yeah, quite like that. Okay. Then... <sighs> what does this do? No! No, no! i mocked this one up, guys. I've mocked it up. Okay. I want a, a gaping gap. No, that's what we've got on it. No! Oh, my God. This one. That's what I was looking for. That is what I was looking for. Oh, yes! That looks a bit weird because we need to get rid of this now. No, we need to make... We'll make this smaller. And then we'll push it back. And then we'll get this and definitely... We'll definitely make this smaller and then push that back. Can you move? Um, you know what? That's stupid. We're getting rid of that. There we go. That's, that's better. Make it a bit smaller. That's not, that's not smaller, Theo. That's smaller. What does that do? Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. That is, I think that's spot on. Okay. Lips. Now, this is like lip spoilers and stuff, isn't it? But we can actually put them on the bumpers. That wasn't as low as it could go. How low can you go? Pretty damn low, I'll tell you now. How's that look? It covers the vent, but that's fine. We'll just uh, we'll just ignore that. And then put one on the back. Like so. How's that look? Yes. Very nice. I like those rims as they are. They quite actually uh, they actually suit the car. Okay, badge. Now, if we make this like a series, if you guys enjoy this. I think we'll kind of put the same badges on us, like we'll name the manufacturers as we go along. I think that would be a pretty cool idea. So, the muscle car manufacturer, uh, let's go with you. Now, that, that's a really like fancy brand, isn't it? So, we'll go with you, like a big circle -y brand. A bit, no, that looks absolutely retarded. This, that's American brand. Yeah, that'll do. That ain't too bad. I've got an itchy nose. I don't know why. Okay. We got this. Now, the stock color will be black. Oh, that actually looks pretty nice. I was joking. I'm not going with that. But that looks pretty nice. That looks pretty nice. That reminds me of that color. It's just like a really bland, boring color. It reminds me of the driver games. The old driver game. Oh, green saber. Green saber driving away. Okay, we're staying with red because the red looks nice. Then again, we could go purple, pink, purple, blue, green, green. Let's try our own custom green because if we can get a good green, that would be nice. Um, no, red. <laughs> we're going with the stock red. Now, I'm going to make it all wheel drive. Wait for comments. No, I'm kidding. Rear wheel drive it is. And we have to create an engine. Now, what's cool about this game, um, you can actually make engines and save them and then put them in other cars and you can make variants of the engine so see so when you actually have the career mode they don't probably have it in the game yet when they have the career mode you'll be able to have like better production if you have them saved already if you have multiple cars using modified the same engine you know 
it's it's cool. Uh, so I'm definitely going to look at this when it's actually fully released, obviously. But we're about to make an engine, guys. We're about to make an engine. So just, I don't know why I want to tell you this, but uh, at the moment, I'm actually running this game in windowed mode. Window 1080p. Not not borderless window, windowed. Uh, for the PC people, yes, 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 I'm, uh, I've got a 1440p monitor, you know. Don't know, don't know why, I just thought I'd tell you. Anyway, so we can have inline, we can have an inline six. That. But this is a muscle car. So we're going to go with a V8. Flat. Wait. What's this one look like? Does it look exactly the same? That co that changes color. We're going with the V8. Um, now, what we can do now is choose the size of it. So if we increase the size, we can make it absolutely fucking huge. Holy shite. Can we make this big as well? Yep. Okay, that's literally like the biggest engine I've ever seen in my life. I love it. It suits it perfectly. Okay. Uh, then if we go with dual overhead cams, five. <laughs> it's huge. It's like, this room is literally like um, the aerodynamic -y thing. Are those actually on the wall? Or are they 3D next to the wall? I can't quite tell. They like seem to pop out. Anyway, this is cool. So we can actually strip back the car and see it in the little tinier stages and then go to the full stage engine. Um, so if we weren't in here, you'd be able to strip it down from the, the car to the insidey bits to the engine. You get everything, you get the idea. That looks freaking awesome. All right, let's put you back down to you for now. Um, so I want it to be, let's go aluminum, aluminium. Okay, I think we're pretty much done there. So that's that. Now, forged steel. Um, I'm probably breaking the laws of American muscle here, but I don't really care. We're going with that. I'm just going with some of the best here because I want my, I want my muscle car to be the most optimized muscle car you've ever seen in your life. Increase the quality. Awesome. Okay. Now, this is the stuff where people are going to be like, oh, you don't know fuck all. And you would be right. But we're going to do it anyway. So we're going to start off with extreme, extreme everything. All cams style. Okay, so this is where we can choose what the, the engine thingy looks like. Aesthetic. So because it's a muscle car, I actually want to go for that shininess. And like, just imagine opening the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we, can we go to that and make it shiny metal? Unfortunately not. You know, I actually quite like that in black and red. Oh, go back to the black and red. Where's it gone? I saw you again. There you are, you cheeky bastard. Okay. Increase the quality. All quality here, my friends. Okay. Turbo charger on naturally aspirated. Naturally aspirated, my bollocks. We're going with turbo. Why would you put a turbo charger inside a muscle car? Shut up. Okay. Uh... Water, air, huge, race. Now, as you see there, it's red. Uh, that actually means it's too big now. So, we actually need to decrease the size here of these turbochargers. So, get it so it goes red again. Keep tapping down, and then it goes to the yellow. And, yeah, it's not going to let us do that anymore either. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope. I've mucked it up. I've mucked it up properly now, fellas. All right, can we increase you just a little bit? And then we can increase you massively all the way. And you, and you. That wasn't even size, but we'll just pretend it was anyway. Anyway, uh, next one. Uh, injection. Let's see. Direct injection. We'll go with twin race. Um, okay. So, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we'll go with that because it, it takes up less room then. Don't know why. <laughs> I'm literally clueless at this point. I can't change the RPM. I'm trying to think why. That would be why. You haven't selected it. Okay. okay. Now, fuel mixture. Um, higher means much more power. 
lower Ron, and then lower means much better economy. So, this is a muscle car. <laughs> so it needs to fucking drink the fuel as if it's water. And it's free. And it's not. Ignition timing, advanced. Advanced means more power, better economy. RPM limiter. Now, 7,000, sorry, 5,800 is a bit shite. We go straight to 12,000. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to go for, let's go for 8k. Which is a bit crazy, but we'll do it anyway. Only option, dual exhausts, uh, bypass valves, increased uh, exhaust diameter, high flow, three-way, straight through, straight through. Look at this engine. We made this, guys. The FPS has dropped down to about 22 now on my R9290X. This game is well optimized. Okay, let's listen to this engine. So we're going to see if it actually works. You actually get to test these things along the way. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, one thing this game does amazing, the engine sounds. Come on. Oh, listen to that. I think we broke, yeah, we broke it. <laughs> I was I was so hyped for the no for noise. Right, lowering the compression. So that's where we begin. So if we go over to here, uh, you can see the compression. It's basically telling us that something broke. The engine, the engine blew up exploded in our faces and then we have to go back and we've wasted a lot of money for the company so if i put it like massively down to high and then see if we can get it we'll skip it this time so it died again oh wait 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 sorry i'm doing this wrong you can actually see on this graph now live i believe for some reason what it will be so here we go we saw it go all the way across there now so if we go up until it goes boom so there we go that's that's our answer so if we actually, can we actually, yeah, if we play around with this, we might be able to get even better. Uh, I have no idea. If we go race, is that just better? Yeah, we could go higher with race. I'm not sure why that line, you know, whatever, I don't care. Test it again. Here we go. Now we get to listen to it properly. Finish the job. You see the lines like it's coming out of the line there. Here we go. Oh, the noise is incredible. We, these guys need to make a proper game where we can drive these. Yes. Come on. Oh, that's incredible noise. Absolutely incredible. Now I've just realized something, guys. Our muscle car is quite expensive. Uh, look at the material cost here. Now, what I will do in the future episodes, if you guys want to see more of this, is we'll actually go through the process of making it cheaper and we'll optimize the engines, that sort of thing. But today, I just wanted to show you guys it as uh, quick as possible without cutting stuff out because this is more of a game you can't really cut stuff out. I could, but you wouldn't really understand anything that's gone on if otherwise. Now, we're going to put a uh, automatic gearbox in there. Sorry, I can I can hear you screaming now. Is that you screaming? No, okay, sorry. Uh, we're gonna go manual, single clutch. If we go sequential, we can actually go double clutch, which is all, which is awesome. Uh, but anyway, manual, six speed. We could go seven speed, but uh, that doesn't seem right to a muscle car for me. Muscle car seems even less than that for me. But um, I'm assuming speed might be messed about with if we do this. <laughs> Let's increase the spacing a little bit. I don't want to go massively over the top. So we'll have the five speed. We'll say the top speed is 370. It won't get to that. It's going to blow up. I can tell you that for fucking free. Um, quality increase massively. That actually... Yeah, that, that does increase it. I was wondering why it jumped. Uh, electrical LSD. So actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want the cost to be to be low. So if we go automatic locker, durability is very low. You see, I want between these two. So that's better material cost, better production uh, units. Off-road is shit. 
comfort is shit, so we're, go we're going with electric. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Has to be fucking done. Okay, uh, tire choice, chunky off-road. That does not, that looks even smaller than it was, but whatever. We're not having that. We're not having off-road. Hard, long life road. So the durability, drivability, very high and high off-road. High, uh, average off-road, average, low, low, very low. That goes... So, why would we want it... Whatever. We're going with hard, long, life road tires. These are road tires. Those wheels look way too freaking small. We can actually change that, so don't worry. It's fine. Okay, wheel diameters. That increases the tires, which is freaking huge. Rim diameters. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Put some spinners on there and everything, yo. I'm not doing that. 22 inch rims. Jesus Christ. 19 inch rims. Does that look right to you? They need thick tires. It's a muscle car. They're too big. They're too small. Too big. Fuck it. We'll go with those. And they need big thick tires because it's a muscle car. Muscle cars have big thick tires, don't they? Yeah, that definitely looks muscly to me. It's like the arms. Um, tire width. Now, back tires. Yeah, we're not having that thin of a tire. We're not having that thin of a tire on a muscle car. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I see you poking out a little bit. No, you didn't. Okay. Just let me down. Just let me down. Uh, front ones, I'll increase it a little bit. But I don't want them to be as big, so we'll go with those. Yeah, 205s, 255s. Rim offset. What does that do? Nothing. It doesn't do anything. So we can choose the type of rim. Off-road is high. It just tells me if it's better off-road. It doesn't... The weight, anyway. Uh, I want it to be... Yeah, alloy looks better so far. That's even lighter, but the material cost doubles? More than doubles. So we'll go alloy. And then, with the rims, we shall go for this. That would look nice if I could change the color, but I can't. So we'll just have to deal with that. Can we actually go through these and see, Theo? Don't just, don't just be like, oh yeah, we're having that, that's it. Um, we'll go with those, because they're more, you know, I like those, but it, when we put the brake pads on, it might actually look nice. So, you know, you know what? I prefer those anyway. Was it those? Yes, it was. Moving on. Brakes. Now, we can have SLS drum. SLS? SLS brakes. Jesus Christ. Solid disc. Vented disc. Let's go vented disc. Um... Six pistons. Pad type. Pad size. Yeah, buddy. No. Uh, that's good enough for me. Vented. Six. That's 300. And that's 100. Cool. Increase the quality. We're good. Next up is what? Right, we want this thing to be downforce. Complete downforce. Active wing. Um, aero flaps, cooling flaps. Keep that as it is. Break it. Let's increase that a little bit. Quality increase. Cool. Now, seats. Apparently, we can get this as a five-seater. Which, I thought the music was glitchy in then. Which makes sense because it's a muscle car. Uh, I've, I've, I think at the top of my head, they have five seats. So, we'll go with five seats for our muscle car. Four seats. <laughs> and we will go with... We can go with Handmade, which is like Koenigsegg level. Koenigsegg level. I think Koenigsegg does it, but I meant the Pagani. <laughs> Sports, Premium, Standard, Comfort. We'll go with Premium. I don't want to go too high because muscle cars, old muscle cars, classic muscle cars, they have this really nice classic feel. Like leather... Just diner chairs. You're just cruising with a big wooden wheel. Like, oh, one day I will be. I will sit behind a muscle car and be so freaking happy. But what we will do is go for premium entertainment as well. So we'll actually have quite a bit of cool stuff in there um, that you wouldn't normally get in a muscle car because then it's a classic muscle being released today. 
and it's got some nice stuff inside. It's rem it's, that that would be such a cool... I'll buy that thing straight away. I wouldn't because I can't afford it. But anyway, power steering. We'll give it power steering. Anti-lock brake system, ABS. I'm assuming you'll be able to turn this stuff off. So I'm not having traction control because it's an American muscle. Stability, no. Launch control, no. We'll just have power steering. And anti-lock brakes. Which you could disable yourself. Okay, quality increase. Now, this is what? I don't freaking know. We'll just we'll just put it on the best one. Don't know what it is. We'll just put it on the best one. That's how car design goes, Theo. And that's how you fucking kill people. Um, now, the springs. Oh, I want to go with... I have to move slightly to see it. Progressive. Adaptive. Passive. Sports. No. Comfort. Right eye, I would slam it, but this is a muscle car, so it needs to wobble about a bit. That's how the muscle cars work. You just wobble, wobble. Um, increase the quality. Yes, there we go. So our muscle car is now complete. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is any good. As I said, this is the first time I'm actually properly playing this game. But, um... I'm, I'd say I'm proud of what we've come up with, but we have yet to test it. Now, one thing before we do test it, because uh, I want to, I just, I just want to show you. If we go down, there we go. We can see the engine. We can see the chassis and the aero -y bit still for some reason, but we'll ignore those, the badge. Um, and then if we go down again, we can see no aero bits, which should be the other way around, to be quite honest with you. But anyway, remove the wheels, remove the brakes. Remove nothing else. We could go to the engine if we wanted to go to the engine tab, but we ain't going to do that. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know you could do it. It's locked to the bloody back of the car now. Can we just... Can we... That's a good shot. Uh, can, can we just go back to the normal view now? Is that the normal view? Yeah, I didn't think it was. You're lying to me. That view. That is the normal view, isn't it? That is the normal view. Okay. Without any more faff in a boot, airfield. So this is actually the Top Gear test track, if you can't tell. I, I figured this out on a video that I watched, but yeah. Uh, this is basically the Top Gear test track. And, you know, you know it. You know it. Look at it. This is the, the default track, but looks a bit shite, to be quite honest. Anyway, uh, let us begin our test. It's going. It's actually going. And the noise is fucking awesome. A lot of the literal gangsters there. What? Oh, he's braking. I just realized that. The brakes don't sound as good. Now he's back on the power. Yes, go on, my son. It'd be cool if you could actually drive them yourself, though, game. Like, I know it's a massive bloody thing to do. Imagine all those cars and having to make the physics work and react depending on how you set it up. And, but that would be like a triple A AAA dev game. Holy shit, I would, I would smack so much money down for that game, I don't even know. But yes, you can hear the power. Why is this in kilometers? I don't want it in kilometers. Give me this. No, I want it in... It tells me the stats underneath in proper, but it doesn't do it on the speed. What a bloody stupid thing that is. I'm just going to watch it. I don't, there's just some form of satisfaction watching this car drive around here like a pleb. I don't know. Might just be me, but I think it's pretty good. Now he's accelerating and braking. He's being he's being a bit cautious here. Full throttle. Flat, flat out. Flat it out, meat. Oh, I went flat out through there. Look at this man. He is a god. We've got our own stick, apparently. And now he's braking like a mate crazy man now he's slightly accelerating the car sounds like it's about to die that was the quickest freaking drive through there i've ever seen in my bloody life i've driven this on gran turismo many a time that is it so i'm really chuffed with that we got 170 foot 171.4 miles per hour now for a stock muscle car stock because obviously it's not we've got freaking turbochargers and everything in it that's actually pretty damn awesome. I would buy 171 miles per hour freaking thing. That would be awesome. Um, 
I'm going to pretend I know what all this means and go, this is fucking amazing. I designed this car. It's absolutely brilliant. Flawless. Went through everything absolutely perfect. Probably didn't, but I don't care, to be quite honest. I don't care. I made a car. I made a car. So what does the next thing do? That's it. So I'm guessing in the full game, we'll be able to make that a thing. Like, um, end up with a car that goes into production. And we'll be able to alter it slightly, like a sporty version. So, do you want to see more of this? Uh, we're pretty much done for today's episode. So if you did enjoy, please hit the like button. It does help me a lot. But I would love to know if you want to see more of this game. And if you want me to just edit it in my normal style and just do quick builds... Or if you want me to do these full lengthy videos like I did today. Just to test the wall to see what you guys think of this. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think, like, I think I could get this into short videos now that I've played it. But um, do you guys want to see all the little in detail depth bits? I'll, I'll play around with it. But anyway, let's let's go on the floor tour. Is that, is that, is that going to... It doesn't... It, it did something. I don't know what it did. Until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.